It's in the murder of firefighter Wesley Franklin. Brandon Mackey is charged with firing a shot into a sandfly bar that killed the Isle of Hope firefighter in 2012. This is a story we've been on top of since the very start. Brandon Mackey pleaded guilty to the June 2012 death of Franklin. Yeah, well, he got three life sentences and the prosecutors today revealed a motive. WJCL's Ashley Lincoln was in the courtroom and Ashley, what can you tell us? Well, Kevin and Jennifer, if Mackey didn't enter a plea, this case would have gone to trial next week. But today, Brandon Mackey pleaded guilty and the prosecution revealed new details on why the crime was committed. It's been a long two years that we've had to wait. A two-year fight for legal justice. There had to be justice. Justice was served. That justice came Thursday afternoon when Brandon Mackey entered this courtroom with his hands and feet shackled. You know, he was held accountable for the robbery and, and the killing of West Franklin. Mackey will serve three life sentences in 12 months for felony murder, two armed robbery counts, and theft by taking. I see little remorse. So that, uh, that's a shame. The prosecution revealed the motive behind the shooting. They say Mackey was out looking to rob somebody after an argument he had with his girlfriend over money. He approached two girls with a gun that was armed and cocked, firing two rounds before robbing them. The shots went through the bar, killing 21-year-old Wesley Franklin. Mackey's family didn't want to go on camera, but shared an emotional moment with Franklin's family. Talking to Brandon's father, the apologies that, that he offered, the tears, you know, it takes a hell of a man to do that. Like they said, there was more than one family destroyed. Brandon, you destroyed, <laughs> you destroyed two families. Your father, your own family, and my family. No, I'm glad he's behind bars. It's time for him to serve his time for what he did. Franklin's family say they can now put the past two years behind them, but they still have a long road to go. You know, now, we're the ones that are going to have to bear the burden of it for the rest of our lives. And he entered an open-ended not guilty plea back in October, and that gave him the opportunity to change his plea as he did today. Reporting in the studio, Ashley Lincoln for WJCL News.